September 15th and 16th. Wow, you guys, we're in a full moon. This is such a beautiful full moon. The sun is in Virgo and the moon is in Pisces. And Neptune is right next to the moon. They're standing hand in hand. But first, let's talk about a full moon. You know it's always when the sun and moon are exactly opposite. So there's this big, bright moon standing outside tonight. And it has to do with magic. The moon in Pisces is a magical energy because the moon rules what? Your internal world. It's nighttime. It rules your emotional body, the temperament that you have when you get upset. And Pisces love to live in the other worlds. What a perfect time to go to sleep in the dream world and let Pisces come in. But meanwhile, Virgo's going, are you kidding me? Opposite. The sun energy's going, can you not be weird? Can you just act normal? Can you be appropriate? Pisces is like appropriate. I saw it in a book once. I'm reading it in the dictionary, but I can't find the diction. Virgo, that is the dumbest thing I just... So there's a polarity going on. And when there's a full moon, the energy increases. Increases. And Virgo energy, believe it or not, it's such a great time to talk about it. It's all about being embodied. It's ground earth, it's plants, it's flowers, it's food, it's grains, it's being able to eat, it's being able to read the labels. It's all about the sensual part of this life. And Pisces has a similar flavor. It's not so much this world. Pisces is incense and smells and being able to be in other worlds and having soft music on. So you put these two together, it's very sensual, it's very embodied. And the gift of having this combination whenever there's a full moon is they're dreamers. This is a practical dreamer. Pisces dreams, Virgo does the detail. So can you see what a perfect example? It's great for like an architect who has the visions and then the Virgo has the blueprint. So in all of us, we have dreams, the Pisces land, and then we have Virgo follow through. Well, that's a question mark. How many of you, I'm going to challenge you during this full moon to ask this question. How are you at manifesting your dream? you procrastinate? Pisces forget the dream. They wrote it down. They can't remember where they put it. They had kind of another feeling. It just changed their mind. They want to read another book. And Virgo's like, no, we need a goal. We need a structure. We need to put this down in paper. So I'm going to encourage you during this full moon to ask yourself, what are your dreams? And how close are you at actually articulating them? So I would say during this full moon to take the time to do a dream board, to make the idea of your dream manifest and put the two together. There's nothing better than a Virgo and a Pisces together in a room in harmony. So that's what this full moon's asking, to look at your dreams, look at practicality, see if you can sew them together. And by the way, this is the time when there is a strong T-square in the heavens. And we're going to talk more about that, but the short answer is it releases in Cancer. So during this moment, when this polarity is so strong, think about your family and the dreams you have for them. There's nothing more fulfilling, said the mom, than to actually identify your kids or your favorite people and thinking, what can I do for them? How sweet is that? Astrology Answers brought Deborah Silverman during this full moon when the energy is peaking to ask you about your dreams and who you can serve. Mmm, I love that story.